Yo guys, what, what am I doing? Hello little guys, welcome to your new home. Yo guys, I'm gonna be making a video on my light for this tank, hopefully soon. I'm gonna add these guys. I'm gonna do temperature acclimation and then I'm gonna do a drip acclimation. I'm actually gonna be doing an acclimation process just so they get used to my saltwater levels. But as you guys can see, wait, yeah, that's not right. And that's actually because of the wave pumps. I'm gonna get a different way to find the salinity, but when I turn off all my pumps, you can see it zeroes out at 1.021 to 1.023. And that's just the current pushing it. But yeah, guys, this is amazing. For those of you guys that are not into salt water, I'm sorry, but hopefully this becomes something amazing in the future. But I decided to get a small little cleanup crew just for now, getting some oscillaris and some corals soon, guys. But I'm taking this extremely slow. It took me forever even to get the tank and have salt water in here. Um, it's completely cycled, so I haven't had the light until now, and now I do. And these guys are scavengers, so that's gonna be really great for cleaning up and everything else. And these guys are coral safe, which is gonna be amazing. And, and this is the light to control everything, so I can change power on, power off. I can change the color. Red. I can also change the brightness to make it ultra bright. So this light is really awesome. It hasn't even been released yet from JBJ. They actually sent me um, one of their first models. But yeah, this is amazing. And I know you're probably like, James, why do you go to Petco? And that's because Petco is the only local place for me that actually has salt water. Have a Heart, which is my local pet store, doesn't have it. Petland doesn't have it. I do have those stores up in Milwaukee, but those are about 30, 40 minutes away. So I probably will get my clownfish from them. I'm thinking I kind of want to get a pair of them but I might just get one really fancy one. What do you guys think? Comment that down below. Also, I did just get some awesome plants from h Plants, so I'm gonna be replanting my big tank, and I might be making a video on this small little tank. I'm gonna rescape it and everything. But yeah, this is some food that I'm gonna be using. It's from Hikari. It is the Coral Delight. I've heard great things about it, so it's gonna be really, really cool to feed my coral eventually when I get them. I've already done a ton of research, and I have a ton of other research to do, so I'm looking forward to it. And this, this long tether is actually a temperature. I'm gonna turn the filtration back on, but I just wanted to say um, that's why the salinity level is a little bit off in case you notice that and you're like, James, you're gonna kill your fish. Yeah, so so that's why. And you can see the back filtration, it has like an overflow and then it has pumps underneath it, pull it out. And I'm actually gonna direct the one in the back to angle down at the at my live rock and the one over there just doesn't have its lid anymore so I can't really direct it anywhere. Oh, wait, let me show you the lights actually. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, that is crazy. This whole hood is amazing. Um, I, I was really excited when I unboxed it. I do want to get these guys in the tank relatively soon, so I'm actually going to start the drip acclimation, like, I don't know, right now-ish? I was thinking about putting them in a separate container, but I think I'm just going to do it the old style way, where I'd fold over the bag and drop in some water every once in a while. I'm going to turn back on the filtration, and now it's going good. Alright guys, so I have a little pipette. And I think that's how I'm gonna add in some water. Okay, I'm on my other camera. All right, so let's get started. Yo, these guys are amazing. All right, so I'm gonna get my little pipette, suck up some water, and add it in. All right, guys, so I just switched out quite a bit of water in this tank, and I'm very excited for it. All right, guys, I, I just can't explain and express my, my happiness. Oh, it looks like the emerald crab actually caught onto one of the hermit crabs. So the hermit crabs are blue clawed, and they actually cost, I think it was a dollar, but they're usually a dollar ninety nine. but I got them on sale. All right, so I'm going to go away, and then I'll come back soon when I add them in. Okay, guys, so I am back. Wait, hold up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to be adding these guys in right now. It's been... I think like 10, 20 minutes. Actually, I feel like I should just add some more water in and transfer it. All right, I'm actually just gonna come back later and do it. I feel like I should just give them a little bit more time. All right, guys, time to get to work and actually add them in. All right, so I'm actually gonna get a bucket and uh, let, let's get started. I'd love to breed these hermit crabs and maybe you guys can get them for your own saltwater tank. I don't have any saltwater products on our store. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Ah, oh, shoot. You know, they didn't come in. Uh, come out, no. Get out, get out, get out. All right, everything is in here. The emerald crab just looks beautiful. All right, first thing's going in. Okay, there they go. They're in, they're in the tank. All right, I, I gotta get this. Uh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Yo, look at that. And they're also great because they will stir up the sand. Oh my gosh, guys. 
Yo, official name for this crab, Mr. Krabs. Oh my gosh, it looks like he, he's staying back. He, I was actually thinking that he probably might go to the lava rock. I keep thinking that it's lava rock, it's, it's live rock. Oh my gosh, guys, beautiful. I did have Thai micro spider crabs, but those are freshwater, so it's gonna be nice to have. Ooh, he's burrowing, I think. Yo, look at the sand, how it sticks to him. I'm gonna have to get some macro shots, but here are the little hermit crabs. They're blue um, clawed, so I really want to get blue instead of red. Maybe I might get red later on. But if they breed and stuff, that would be amazing. I might actually put some Nerite snails in here too. Okay, so let's see if he does anything. So it looks like they're just going back. They're just enjoying it. That, that's crazy, guys. I'm so excited for this. Again, that, that's not the actual saltwater reading. Yo, the first living things are in this tank. That is amazing. Look at that. Just look at the detail. We were looking at some cleaner shrimp too. Like, I really like cleanup crews. Like, I love snails and in freshwater. I really like the snails and I also really like shrimp and everything else. These guys are so beautiful. Yo, guys, I'm so excited. This is crazy. This is like a changing point in my entire, like, fish keeping stuff to get my first saltwater living things in my tank so the aquascape i have quite a few caves for them in case they want to hide in them and the fish eventually um it, it's a pretty cliche i just had everything in the middle i need to get a grate for that before i get fish um i completely forgot to do that i might use some mesh like this but i might want to get plastic in case so not no metal or anything can leach off of it yo these guys okay so it looks like he's just holding on to the the rock yo this could actually become my favorite thing like getting salt water this is amazing guys i'm so excited so i was actually planning on taking a little bit longer on acclimation but i wrote i noticed that the crab was actually clawing on to some of these hermit crabs and i didn't want him to accidentally injure them Yo, i'm gonna sit here literally for the next hour or two just looking at this tank because th this is amazing like if you could see in the back there that guy's he's just booking it he's, he's gonna try finding a hiding spot probably i just can't wait to have like tons of coral i'll probably buy a coral frag rack and maybe attach some to these uh live, live rock oh he's, he's burrowing or something oh he fell over epic fail is he burrowing he's trying to climb all right so everything is drawn into hiding basically there's there's one on the top there there's one in the back so yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. It might be a short video. But guys, if this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll, I'll get my saltwater fish and I'll post the video sooner than I would have posted it. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, guys. I'm, I'm so excited. That, that's just crazy. And I love the blue. Like, the light just pulls it together. I don't know how it looks on camera just because it's so small. But yeah, guys, I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Make sure you check out the store, wildpetsupply.com. And I'll catch you all on the Flippy Flop. See you all later. Bye.